Hey guys, welcome to my Monday Night Live, or like I, I like to call it, my Monday Makeover. So um, last week, I'm trying to remember how we ended Friday. Um, oh, we, I know how we ended Friday. We painted a bunch of mushrooms. That is right. Uh, and then I've been seeing a lot of these all over the tribe now. Since I painted them, I was like, oh, maybe I'm noticing them more. So um, one thing that I did notice on these, some of the people actually painted the underside or the underbelly the same color <coughs> as the stem. So I thought that was kind of cool too. So um, definitely uh, something a little different um, that I'll have to look into as I continue to paint them and uh, had a ton of fun. So um, Wednesday we worked on the doors. Uh, we painted the three doors from um, Hidden Hollow. And then Friday we worked on the toadstools. So I thought about doing something else um, with, we were talking about like spring related and all that. And I uh, got working on my video and then I'm like, you know what? I have a bunch of items I already had picked out for my video. Well, let's just roll with it. So that's what we're doing. So the first thing we're going to do, you guys, and um, because Antique Acres is, I know, it, it can, I'm just thinking about it. It's like coming up in May. Um, we are already into March and Antique Acres, uh, one of uh, my shows that I do every year, um, it is May, I believe it's the 17th and 18th of May. It's the weekend before Memorial Weekend. And um, I had these uh, pears, I'm trying to think, was it last year or the year before? Anyways, I had pears and what I did with them is I made them look like stone. So we are gonna do that. We're gonna do it a little different. Um, last time what I did is I took sandy blonde and then I sealed it and then I used white wax. I think we're gonna try to use crockery and then we're going to use the white wax. So let's see um, what we can do with that. That's the first project. Uh, the second project is I've had this um, really pretty basket. It's actually beautiful, you guys, but it has this piece on it and it's got this gold stuff and I want to change that up a bit. And then I, if we still have time beyond that, I have more projects. So um, let's go ahead and we'll get started. But uh, before we do, we have to say hello to see who is all here. All right. It looks like early birds were Penny, Dawn, Kelly, Barbara, and Shelly. Oh my goodness. Uh, Shelly said she cannot believe it, but her youngest is now 13. Um, she has two teenagers. So I feel for you, sister. <laughs> I have a teenager too. I, I, I. Um, we have Amanda, um, we have Ann, Kathy, hello, Free Spirit. Um, oh boy, she said, I just watched Sonnet's projects. I love the sheep on the bean pot. Oh, good. I love it too. You guys, I was like, it's just so simple, but it, it totally transformed it. So you guys have to watch. Um, we have Sylvia, Sharon, hello, everyone. Christine from Georgia. Thanks all for joining. Um, Amanda says, I've got my shopping shoes ready for Friday. <laughs> I know after I said that, I'm like, is that even the right saying? <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew somebody would pick up on that. Uh, D, hello, hello. Okay. So in honor of the cottage colors coming out at the end of the month, the new colors, I thought, why don't we dabble in uh, crockery? So um, when the last series of colors came out, crockery was definitely a hit. Um, it is the color of a crock, um, so you can understand why. And then Americana was really, really popular, and so was Blue Hills. So those were by far were the, the most popular, but honestly, they are all great. All right, fresh and gray. I need some new ideas for my upcoming projects. Okay, we'll try to come up with some new ideas. Uh, hello, Debbie. Hello, Donna. Thanks for joining. 
All right. So if you are not familiar with the cottage colors, they are Debbie Beard's um, one-stop paint. So her and Jamie Ray Vintage, uh, Jamie Ray is kind of like curates all the colors and uh, her and Zeb are the ones that really pick all the colors and, you know, this is like their little baby. So I am excited that um, I was asked to be part of uh, the creative team for this. And uh, there's like six different um, cr or, uh, creators that will be part of um, kicking off the new cottage colors. And there is going to be a playlist. So you guys, I already got started. I gave you guys a little sneak peek. Um, what I did so far was I picked out of the garbage a dresser. If you guys did not see that reel. You'll definitely need to take a peek at uh, the dresser that I picked out of the garbage. It is pretty darn amazing. My mom actually found it and um, <laughs> she calls me. She's like, it's not even a dresser. It's like a buffet or it's like a hutch, a hutch bottom. And she says, I found this for you. I think it'll be perfect for one, your upcoming, one of your videos. And so I said, send me a photo. So she sends me a photo. I'm like, okay, stay there, guard that buffet or that hutch or whatever you want to call it. And I will be right there. I like zoomed over there so fast. And then, um, <laughs> Talk about, like, then she calls my daughter, and my daughter's with my husband, and then my husband sends me a text. You don't need any more garbage. <laughs> but it is great. Um, so, yes, it is the best piece of garbage. So the new cottage colors will be on there. And then um, in the video, I'm going to kind of stick to my whole theme of, like, I like to do it in five different items. Uh, so I have some other pieces picked out. And you guys, I think, are one of them you're going to be really excited about. Hey, Elissa, thanks for joining. Hey, Jan. And as you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello. Many of you are. Uh, let me know where you're from. I love reading it. Uh, and Jan is from Indiana. Awesome. Donna's from Alabama. Love the last Facebook video. Oh, good. Um, Free Spirit says garbage is precious. Absolutely. Guys, if I can save a piece of, you know, something from going in that landfill, I will. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start painting and we can keep chatting, but um, I am hoping, well, I, I don't know how many coats of paint will be on here. I don't know yet. We'll see. All right, I'm just gonna do like one side and kind of set it. I think, and we have to do multiple projects at a time. We'll have to do multiple projects at a time. So uh, this is, yeah. So if you're familiar with DIY paint, it is a, the normal paint is a clay-based paint and you can do so many things like blend it and layer it and get texture with it. And it's just pretty phenomenal. Um, and, but you have to seal it. That's, that is what you have to do. Okay, I, I just hit that. So let's see. Uh, but yes, you have to seal it. So um, the uh, cottage colors are a one-step paint. So uh, it has the sealer built in. And then um, one thing too that they were talking about is that uh, if you have, you can also use um, for like, you know, how DIY paint sticks to everything because it's a clay-based paint. If you want uh, the cottage colors to stick to something and you feel like it won't, you can use the DIY paint underneath as almost like a primer. So I thought that was interesting too. Um, let's see here. Oh, lots of comments now. All right, so let's see. Um, Elissa says it's windy in New Jersey. Lauren says hi. Oh, she's a uh, first time watching you live, watching from Paul Palm Springs, California. Ooh. Uh, then we have Joanne. Love your videos. I'm watching from Minnesota. Nice. 
Uh, yes, Kelly, one man's trash is another uh, man's treasure or woman. <laughs> My treasure. Yes, I, honest to God, I am always looking on the hunt for good stuff. So never tell the hubby. They are Debbie Downers when it comes to garbage. True statement. True statement. He says to me all the time, oh, there's more of that. You'll, you can find more of that. No, you can't. No, you can't. You, and a lot of times, you know, like stuff, um, even at like the ReStore, it's getting kind of expensive, guys. So if I can get it free and do a flip to it and showcase something, I will. <clears throat> uh, the dresser, though, that I'm redoing will be going over to Antique Up. So I'm very excited about that or I keep calling it a dresser, but it's like, it's got doors on the, the bottom. So it's kind of like a Ethan, I think it is Ethan Allen. It's a hutch. Just doesn't have the top part. So I don't know what they did with it. Unless they threw the top part out at one time and just kept the bottom. Don't know. Uh, hello, Lori, are you painting fruit? I am painting fruit. So um, I don't know if it was last year, but the year before I brought pears um, that I painted to make it look like um, faux stone, faux, like the faux finish look. Um, and they went over really, really well. So this year I am painting some more. We're going to paint, uh, paint away. And uh, when I say when I brought it there, I brought it to Antique Acres. And that is going to be coming up before you know it. So <clears throat> pairs with cottage colors. Yes, yes. Um, and Stephanie says, hi from Texas. Hope everyone had a good week. Can't wait for the IOD, IOD new product reveal on Friday. Yes, me too. I am so excited. So, um, I will be going live right at 1130 and so will the IOD sisters. So just so you know, um, and I always do my live at the same time and then I kick it off and I also, everything is available on my website to um, purchase. So that is exciting. And um, there is a video or a playlist and I have uh my video ready, um, all uploaded and ready so that you guys can get inspired, um, for, with all the new products. And there are going to be, I don't know how many other creators are on that playlist, but there's, I think quite a few. So, um, but there's going to be, I'm sure a ton of amazing ideas on that playlist. So, all right. Well, there we have the first coat down. Let's see here. All right. Lisa says, I can't wait to see what you do with that magnificent piece of furniture. I had, I have had my family members literally call me and tell me there's a piece of furniture on the road to get it. Even my friends will tell me, Lisa, there's a piece of furniture on the side of the road. Go get it. <laughs> I love that. Um, I actually have friends now that are on the lookout. Um, one gal actually messages me, curb alert. Uh, and so when I get that message, I'm really excited. All right, let's go ahead and just zap these uh, dry a little bit. Oh gosh, Free Spirit, thank you for mentioning it. Okay, so uh, she actually had messaged or uh, mentioned Am I going to get those cool envelopes to hold stamps? Yes. So with this last, when I got the release, I actually had ordered more of those envelopes. So um, I will. I was actually going to put them in in stock. Just haven't had a chance. I, it actually came to my memory when I had to do it, and then guess what? Totally out. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, Kelly. Yes. So Kelly, is her. she's having, um, now is it your 
it's not your it's your granddaughter that's having them so it's like great grandchildren right or wait what is it kelly you're too young to have great grandchildren i think i'm trying to remember what you said but there's twins being born and she's going to be trying to watch i'm sure the iod stuff um it's 11 30 central time so 12 30 eastern right i have to look um because i always have to like count back kelly says yes my great grandchildren yes i know you look so young like you should not have great grandchildren you're like super young I just envision like my great grandmas and they're not, you're very, very young. Yes. 1230 Eastern time. Okay. Thank you, Amanda. Yes. I had it right. I, I'm like, did I make a mistake? <laughs> oh, Anne says here that she picked her first curbside item of 2024 today, a shelf I'm going to use in the shop. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, let's do the other side. Yes, congrats, Kelly. That's so exciting. We want to see photos. Yes, yeah, we definitely want to see the photos. So, all right, let's get the other side. All right. So... Has anybody else done the faux stone or the faux brick or no, it's not faux brick, it's faux stone or whatever they want to call it, concrete. Has anybody done that before with anything? Hey, Kareen, thanks for joining. Oh, we will be definitely praying for them, Kelly. That's too bad. All right. So then we'll zap it again and we'll do the other side and then zap it again and then do the other side. We'll just keep going back and forth to get these babies done. I know when people watch my lives, I think that they think it's going to be similar to that of an edited video where I have like the painting like in super fast mode. <laughs> you guys, I don't know. Nope, this is real life. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Lori says she has, and then we're, oh, here, I was going to post this one too. I have painted fake potatoes to sheep. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Uh, yes, I did it on uh, plastic planters and then added molds. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Um, I live out in the woods now, but used to curb pick all the time. Oh, I know. It's so fun. Well, so I should tell you guys in the city of Appleton, uh, I'm trying to think, and what is it like the end of October? We can't put anything out on the curb. I, there's a date, you guys. They're becoming very strict. Um, so once they start picking up leaves, they won't pick up curb stuff. And then if you put anything on the curb, then they put a little sticker on it that they're going to fine you. Or if they take it away, you're going to get fined or something like that. But don't worry. I am always looking. So I'm trying to save everything and prevent people from getting fines. But... Okay. Um, okay. So Donna says she painted pears. I'm in the middle of trying to do one with a rooster. Oh, uh, let's see here. What? That's what I did. Jail used uh, DIYs paint with salt wash. Ooh, that sounds like fun. You know, that is one thing I have not used is the salt wash. I actually had contemplated, you know, offering it, but I had not used it and everybody really liked it. But then I'm like, I don't know. So I never did. 
All right, so let's just quick chat about um, the IOD release too, you guys. I just want to find out, what are you looking forward to the most? Like, are you wanting more stamps? Are you, are you looking for molds, transfers? What are you thinking? Lori says she used baking powder with it. Oh, that's, yeah, I've tried baking powder too. All right, the molds, transfers, all of it. <laughs> Sonnet, just out there helping the community, not getting fine. <laughs> that's funny. I like that one. Uh, by taking their junk. Yes, that's what I do. I save them. I save them. Let's see here. Um, so lots of molds, uh, transfers. Let's see. Transfers and molds. Molds and stamps are my favorite items. So excited to see them. Transfers and molds. Okay. Awesome. I know I uh I'm really I'm really excited for this release. I normally I feel like I can kind of peg like what is gonna be the most popular. But there are so many good ones. And I didn't even get, I think, too, because there's a lot to play around with, too, this time. And I didn't get to play around with everything because there's so much. But there are so many good ones, you guys. So you are going to be very pleasantly surprised, I'm sure. Uh, Sharon says she's anxiously waiting for all the things. Awesome. Um, well, I'm using the Huggy Wipes that were free, that were given to me. So this is the Huggy Wipes that I'm using. Am I supposed to be using a certain kind? Oh, going my log, probably. Uh, Amanda said she saw the farm style stamps in the recent video. Those will be fun. One can never have too many molds. I could not agree more. I love playing around with the molds. Um, I did. I bought all the pairs at once, and they were in a bag, and I ended up getting them for $3.99. When I sold them at Antique Acres, I think I sold them for $3 each. And a bunch of people, they were buying them, like, I almost, I think I... I think either I sold out or I had maybe one left. One lone pair, I think, is what I came home with. So, um, Let's see here. My husband paid you such a high compliment on your disposition while doing your lives. He heard another woman while I was watching, uh, and he said that you were so much more exciting to listen to. <laughs> Well, good. I like it. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. I'm like, what's going on here? Uh, okay, so you guys, I have... Okay, there is one set of stamps that is definitely my favorite. Um, well, actually... There's two. I One I didn't get to play with yet, but the other one, I, I mean, the moment I saw it, I'm like, I think they made it for me because I've been asking for it for like ever. So um, that one uh, and then the molds, you guys, there's a couple that I really, really like. Um, and then there's two, well, two trans, two of the transfers I absolutely love. Um, and I use both of them in my video. So, um, but yeah, so there, I'm very excited. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay. So who, who, somebody asked that question about, um, Sonnet, thank you so much. Let's see. Thank you so much. Your customer service is amazing. Ordered on Friday, received on Monday. Oh, you're welcome. I, you know, I try to get out as quick as possible. I really do guys. Um, 
That is like my goal to get everything out as quick as possible. And I did not get to ship today because I, I shipped Saturday, but then I did not get to ship today. So um, it will be going out first thing tomorrow. So if anybody else had orders, um, uh, let's see here. Ding, forgot you're on an hour earlier now. Like <laughs> Because of, oh, because of daylight savings. Yes, yes, yes. Daylight savings. Um, I have my mom's set from seventies of wood and fruit and bowl. Ooh, now you're going to make me dig out my fake fruit from the shed. I hope so. You guys definitely do it. it people loved it. Okay. Let's do the second coat. All right. Donna says Friday can't get here fast enough. I know. Um, I have the patience of a toddler. <laughs> That would be a great one. Stamps and molds, if I can get them before they are sold out. The, these two stores over here in Germany. Oh, I hope you can. Let's see here. Can you tell us how big the transfer books are? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'm allowed to. Um, I don't know. I better not say anything. I don't know what I can say. No, I probably can't say anything. It's probably not. But there's a variety. I'll just say that. There's a variety of sizes. How about that? And you guys know what kind of sizes there are then. There's a variety. Oh. But I do, actually, I really liked it at during the holidays that they had the little... Um, smaller transfers, they were by far, um, I like it when they come out with the, the smaller transfers like that. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. So not that I, I mean, I like the big ones too, but you know what I mean? I like the small ones too. Uh, we don't change time in Phoenix. Yes, that's right. I did hear that on the news that there's only like one area that does not do daylight savings. And I'm hoping in the future, none of us are going to be doing daylight savings. I thought it was done with. And then all of a sudden oh, it was back. It was like my least favorite time of the year, daylight savings. Um, let's see here. All right. Oh, Joan says, hello, Sana. I just got home from grocery shopping. Now I can sit and relax watching you. Yeah. Dee says she ordered two cottage colors, got them in just days, but now I'm waiting to see new colors before I do the project. You are going to love the new colors, you guys. I am just so excited because there's so much good stuff coming. I like I like it when we add some new variety. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the oldies and they're all goodies, but I also just like when we get some new stuff too. Um, oh my, that tipped. Oh, here. Yeah, it's funny. They started daylight savings for the farmers and now the farmers never changed their clocks. <laughs> oh. Let's see here. D says, I do know there must be a new product or something because I saw a picture from someone else and it was a picture, but it was not clear. They were being careful not to really show. Oh. Okay. I wonder what it was. Who was it? Uh, what are you painting? Pears? Yes, I do. I or Yes, I am. I'm painting pears and I'm painting pears for antique acres. Uh, the year that I paint or I had them there, they were really popular. So doing that. Um, I, I was at a banquet this last weekend and this gal said she has, um, she's like, yeah, my childhood dresser, it just needs a ton of work. And it's, it's kind of, you know, it's just too much for me to, to work with. Do you want me to send you a picture and, um, you know, and you can look, it has these really cool cloth feet though. And it's got these wood handles that are built right in the drawers. I'm like, I'll take it. I don't even have to see photos. I'll take it. I mean, it's, oh, but it needs so much work. So like, okay, send me a photo just in case. And she sent it. And 
I just took one glance at the photo and I'm like, I'll take it. So that will be at Antique Acres. And I am going to probably paint it with one of the new cottage colors. And I think I might use a transfer on the front. I don't know. It's so pretty. It, when she say, says it needs work, I think it's just that she thinks it needs to be like refinished for like wood. So, but it's awesome. Froze up on Facebook to come here too. Oh, I froze on Facebook. That's not good. I hope I didn't freeze on Facebook. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, there. These pears have like ridges where they, they like to sit. No, you're fine. Okay. Thank goodness. Um, Penny says on a live. Did I miss something before that on a live? Not frozen. Okay, good guys. I started freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh. Maybe on hers I was frozen or something. Maybe it was her internet. <laughs> All right. Wow, this is going pretty darn fast. You're not frozen on Facebook. Perfect, perfect. I hope they keep this daylight savings time. I know, I hope they keep it just as it is right now. Oh, Corrine says, this is interesting. I, I learned how to make a hollow egg and turn it into an old fashioned sugar egg. Had to cut a hole in front of the egg to make a vignette inside the egg. It's so cute. Gluing it on a glass candle stick from Dollar Tree. That's neat. Oh my gosh, T. <laughs> she thought I was frozen on YouTube. Uh, but she was sitting on the roof, so no worries. I want okay, that's awesome. The dresser. Oh, I, oh, you want me to do it on the live? I could. That would be fun. I could do the dresser on a live. I haven't done well. Actually, you guys, I should say that I did one piece of furniture on a live, and that number was my Chase Lounge thing that I made. I know the very first live. <clears throat> I'm like, oh, I'll just, they had that spring. I'm like, I'll take this, I'll just do it all on the live. And I'm like, oh, I better take the spring off ahead of time. And thank God I did because that was just chaotic when I was trying. I was literally like sweating. It was horrible. Oh, good. Uh, Karine says she's going to post her egg um, to, and tomorrow she should finish. So. Yes, I definitely want to see it. Oh my gosh. D says, you'd think I would have felt it. That's funny. All right, one more side. And then what we're going to do is we'll be taking the white wax and we will be waxing these. Hopefully it works as good as the DIY paint. I think it will. Hello, Lynn from Texas. Could have been my Facebook, but came here. It was fine. That's okay. All right. Oh, got a fingerprint on this one. I just want to get them all dry as best as I can. So did you guys see that I am going to make an announcement on, I think it's, I put the event out there. So just so you guys all know, there's an event out there and I'm making a huge announcement. So I have been kind of hinting around that I have some stuff going on on the back end uh, and I have a very, very big announcement that I'm going to be making. And I think I'm going to do, it's on, I think it's Wednesday the 
7th is what I, the date I put. So hopefully you guys will all tune in. I'm also excited for the membership welcome meeting next week. March is kind of an awesome month so far. Yes. Yes. Thank you for joining. So Amanda joined the membership group. She, um, well, I, if you, we'll have a meeting tomorrow night. So if you attend, we'll probably chat it up then, but there's the, the welcome meeting. No D. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had to, I had to laugh. I, this is not true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, no, I am not. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, that made me laugh. I don't even, I almost said, I don't even know what I would do with a baby. You guys, I'd be like having a baby on my side. Oh, I'd probably have her in the carrier. We'd be on a live together. Oh my Lord. Lynn said, LOL, I even laughed. <laughs> I had to put down my heat gun. <laughs> oh, yeah. D is on a roll today. All right. Let's go and do the... All right. I'm going to move that. Oh. Let's see here. Where did I put it? Okay. Um, so worried. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh... Oh, Stephanie. Oh, okay. I wonder why, where she's been. Okay. So, well, that's good. At least if Stephanie was on Bree's live, at least we know that she's okay. I just hope she's not mad at us or something because she was on our lives all the time. And I miss her, but maybe she's got something going on. All right. Are those pears? Yes, these are pears. Oh my gosh. D is blaming it on a cold, you guys. She says she's got a cold and it's affecting her brain. I love it. That's awesome. All right. Let's see. I got to find the side I didn't paint. Okay. The coverage on here is really good. I'm really happy with that. I did, um, I had one crock that was a horrible, ugly color, and I actually painted it crockery, and it turned out amazing. So, um, let's see here. Yes, it's called Cold Brain. The time might not work for her anymore. Yeah, it might not. So that's okay. Things happen. Um, Penny asked, what's Breeze? It's upcycled by Bree. Uh, she does, um, she goes, well, I don't know what she all does. I mean, I know she, um, she is on whatnot and I don't know if her live was a whatnot sale or if it was, um, I know that she, I saw she made some really cool uh, candlesticks. So with like repurposed, she repurposed them. So that, those turned out really cool. I saw the picture today. Briefly in between me doing um, all kinds of stuff. I have to always tell myself like, I don't know if you guys get this way, but you open up Facebook. I, I open up Facebook because I need to post something and I get sucked in and I start scrolling and then like I see that post and then I'm like, oh, and then I see another post and then a whole bunch of my, I see my friends post and I'm like, oh, son it, you have to get to work. You have a video to finish. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you guys I have to tell you, so I taped my whole entire video and I am going to edit it. And I was like, why is there like a weird, there was like, um, every once in a while I would see like a weird glare or image. And this morning I dropped, um, my camera and 
it turned out, well, the, it had a crack in it. So it was like reflecting the light from all my lights. It was kind of like reflecting the light weird. So I'm like, oh, great. So I was able to get that fixed. Thank goodness. After the fact. So if you guys notice anything weird, that's what it is. Um, since it's self-leveling, shouldn't your fingerprints disappear? <laughs> Probably, um, unless it's partially dry, but yes, they do disappear. And yes, thank you for reminding um, everybody it is self-leveling. So, um, it's really got a nice smooth finish, which is really nice. All right, we're almost, this is the last pair. And then we can start, zap it really good. And then we can start the, start the, um, the wax. Um, no, I was just going to do the white wax on it. So Joan said, are you going to paint the pairs with salt wash to look like concrete? No, I'm just going to do like make it, I'm just going to add the white wax is what I'm going to do. So that's what I'm going to on that one. Um, no live haul and start of a, no live haul and start of a project. Um, golden ticket would be pretty on the pairs too. Oh, well, we can definitely think about it. Golden ticket would be really pretty. Where did I put that? Well, I have the golden rule. That's the wax, the gilding wax. And then I have the golden ticket. Uh, Kelly says, what about dark wax? Um, Lynn said, is that one of the new cottage colors? Nope. This is one of the older cottage colors. Well, it's not even that old. It's called crockery. Lori says, I love paint. I want all the colors. LOL. Me too. I love all. I love paint too. All right. So I do have white wax here. I also have dark wax. Um, you mentioned the golden ticket. I also have the gold gilding wax. So we can do. Kelly says she's a little obsessed with dark wax. I could totally tell. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't tell me to bring up, break out the uh, oil wax, dark oil wax. Paige says, hey, hey, I tried explaining something on your other video comments and don't think it came across well. Can't find the video I was referring to because it was alive. Okay. Uh, Kim says she's sorry she's late. That's okay. Her stepson has track on um, Monday evening, so that's fun. <laughs> Kelly said, well, we could try dark oil wax. Oh, Lauren says she likes copper. I oh, know, do I? Oh, I have the copper pennies over there. Well, pennies, oh, copper penny. Yeah, pennies from heaven. I said, oh, I have the copper pennies over there. It's pennies from heaven. Oh, pennies from heaven with dark uh, wax would be pretty. We could do that. Let's go ahead. All right, we'll do the copper with the dark oil, dark wax. So let me just finish these, zapping these babies up. I'm going to have to grab it off the shelf because I haven't opened up the copper yet. Great suggestion. All right. I'm going to let these cool down. I'm going to grab the copper uh, pennies from heaven. Um... All right, so let me grab that. 
I just tripped over my hot glue gun. <laughs> it got wrapped around my ankle and I almost took a digger, you guys. All right. Oh, shipwrecked. Um, I have that over here. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of everything. I thought I had it over here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out where I put shipwreck. I thought it was over there, but okay, well, let's start here and we'll go from there. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are killing me tonight. <laughs> okay. So, yes, I am. Um, so, long story short, I had to, a couple things that were taking up a lot of my time was my podcast, like getting that up and running and figuring out the editing and like the whole setup. So that was taking a whole lot of time. Um, plus I have been working, uh, with a gal on my website. We've been making a lot of changes and that's been taking a lot of time too. Uh, and then I still want to put out my content for you guys. So doing like, people don't realize like the thrift to treasure videos probably are the most time consuming, um, to do. And I put out like almost two a week. So um, but yes, I have goals that I want to accomplish a whole bunch of different things. So I think my very first project, my very first home improvement project, um, we are going to be uh, going, it's going to be my stairs going up the stairs. I'm ripping the carpet off. Um, I'm going to redo the stairs. And then we talked about the faux tiles that is going up in the ceiling up there. I'm going to do the redo the whole like hallway up there. So it's going to be probably broken up. But yes, that, that is one of the things that I'm going to be doing. Um, let's see. Uh, are you going to interview Royce? She's so interesting. I've learned a ton from her. I haven't asked her yet, but I definitely can. I love Royce and I have learned a ton from her too. So that would be something awesome. I could definitely do that because I, every other week I'll be interviewing somebody new. So you guys, if you have ideas and suggestions of people you would like to see me interview, I would love to know. Kelly says she wishes she has half of my ambition and energy. Yesterday, I was really burned out. I'll be totally honest. So, all right. So this is Pennies from Heaven. And we started off painting this uh, crockery. So, oh, she is hilarious. Um, all right. I don't know how thick this is going to go on. You should interview Lynn at LNJ Goods. Yes, I should. That would be a good one, too. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is just put it on. Oh, I like this already, guys. Great idea. Okay. I'm going, I, I'm putting it on and then I'm kind of like, I want the crockery to still pop through a tad. All right. Yes, that would be another really great Lynn from LNJ Goods. She would be good too. Okay. Guys, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to see because there's a glare, but this is actually, this turned out really good so far. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks really high end. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Let's see. All oh, great. I, um, okay. So Lori says, I, I should probably write some of these down. Ginger Chic Rehabs, Julie Designs, Sammy and Brie. Yes. 
Um, those would all be good. All right, sorry if I missed it, but what's with the diapers and is Huggies your sponsor? No, <laughs> Huggies is not my sponsor. <laughs> oh, and it's still there, it's double-sided. No, um, I got those free. I got, a friend gave me them, okay? And that's why I have them there. They're, I just got them for free, guys. So no, they're not my sponsor. Oh, you guys, this looks so good. I wish you could... Oh, wait, maybe I should do the whole back thing. I don't know. It's kind of hard because they're because it's um, so bright and but it looks so good. Um, dab the crockery with the pennies on a small sponge. Let's see here. What did I miss? All right. Joan and I think are two peas in a pod. All right, so let's, I'm gonna just keep on. So basically what I'm doing is I'm dabbing a little on and then I'm just rubbing it about a little bit so that the, it's coppery, but it has the crockery still pops through a bit. I like it a lot. It looks so good. Oh, and I like too, because there's some like, the pear itself has a little bit of texture on it too. So that's really good. All right. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Paige goes, no babies on the way for sonnet. Oh no, no, you guys do not, do not jinx me. I'm too old for babies. I almost said before, I don't even know what I would do with a baby. <laughs> Obviously, I would know what to do, but. All right. But no. Oh my gosh. My mom and dad would probably have a nervous breakdown. Hey. All right. That looks really good too. And I think I really like too that I, if I can figure out what I did with that wax, I had all my waxes together. It's got to be over there. I, I think I was just trying to be too quick and I, I missed it. All right. You never know. I'm 42 and I'm done too. Totally get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. All right. Do you have a partridge transfer to put on one? Um, no, I don't. I don't. I don't have a. I don't. I don't have a partridge transfer. And then Kelly said she just got the the whole partridge transfer, and I am I I might be missing something. <laughs> oh, let's see here. I had my one and only at thirty seven. She's thirty now, getting married at the end of this month. Time flies. Oh, yes, time does fly. Yep. So I have um, a 23-year-old. He will be 24 in July. And then we have Caitlin, and she's 16, and she will be 17 in September. So I, I can't imagine having a baby right now. <laughs> it's basically what I'm trying to tell you guys. <laughs> uh, did you paint the door white? I thought the wood frame was black before. Nope. The wood frame has always been the wood frame. The wall is black. Um, no, the, um, it's still the Americana and I am going to paint inside of all the frames. 
um, black. I should probably just do that on a live with you guys. And then I finally have been looking at uh, Lexi Grenzer's um, doorknob that she gave me. And oh gosh, it is so cool. I am trying to figure out how to install that on that door. So that is going to be my next like job or next thing I want to do. Oh gosh, Amanda says, I have a 23 year old, a 19 year old and a 16 year old. I can't imagine starting with an infant again. I know, honestly, I, I mean, it, it, babies are always a blessing, right? But when you're not expecting it, <laughs> oh, good Lord. Yes. Okay. All right. That's looking good. Guys, these look so good. I am so excited. Okay, well, let's see. <laughs> Sounds like some prep will be needed for those interviews. Um, uh oh, I got some screen up. I don't know what screen this is. Oh boy. I don't know what screen I just ha have up here and I can't get rid of it. Oh dear, I don't know what I have up. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, good Lord. What do you think this is? It won't go away. It says light traffic. Okay, let me see here. Um, I don't know how to get rid of this, you guys. This is not good. It like, it's on my screen. <laughs> well, let's see. Able to ask good questions specific to guests. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see if that goes away. It's like spinning. It's got my whole computer locked up. That is not good. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Breaking news. Something about uh, some secretary just popped up and it locked up my whole computer. Look at that. Okay. Well... I can't see any comments. Maybe I could read something on there. Um, I know you didn't see it, but the joke was, oh, now I missed it. <laughs> something about a joke. And now I can't see anything, you guys. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh, well. All right. That's not going to be good if I have to sit here. I'm just going to finish these up and then I'll try to figure it out. So if you guys missed out, um, I have a, a, a something on the screen that I cannot get off and I don't know what's going on and it's spinning. So that's not good. And of course it would happen during my live. Normally I can like minimize something, but it won't minimize. So I don't know what's going on. So let me finish this. And then we're going to talk about our next steps with these. I really like the idea of doing the shipwreck down here too. Or what do you guys think? I would read the comments, but <laughs> she may have accidentally on silence notifications. Oh no, I broke your computer. She may have accidentally unsilenced notifications. Um, I don't know what I did, you guys. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> All right. How do you think I can get something off of my screen? I'm going to put this in here. I don't know. Um, I 
Okay, I'm doing a con. I'm gonna go into the task manager. Oh, now I can't even. I don't want that. Okay. Um. I don't know, you guys. Nothing on here is going away. It's okay. So I have this little button on the bottom, and it somehow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Um I don't know. I I don't even know if I can actually like end this uh stream. So uh let's see, is this way of avoiding the question? <laughs> about the i don't even know don't ask me i still have aol uh control delete will let you pull up the task yeah the task bar okay so that's what i'm gonna try to do okay i'm gonna bring up the task manager and okay um i don't know if it's actually it's like something it's like we're, it says 56 degrees. I think it's, I don't even know what I hit down here. Okay. Oh my gosh, now I hit. Oh my God, you guys, I'm making a huge mess. Okay, let me see if I can. It's called, I don't even know what, light traffic. See if I can say, if I can find something that says light traffic. Uh, it looks like stream my art might be frozen. Oh boy. All right. Well, um, I have to restart your computer, shut down and restart. Okay. So if I shut down and restart, we'll be done for tonight. So <laughs> I don't think it is stream yard because I can still get on stream yard. I think Okay, so if I move it over here, okay, all right, guys, I can see you. Shut down and restart. Might have to restart your computer. It looks like Streamer might be frozen. It's all good. We can still see you. Um, let's see. We're gonna hide the. Okay, all right. I moved you guys way over. There is another big block of something. <laughs> side. Of course, this is what happened. Okay. Uh, can't continue like this because you can't interact. It's okay, son. We understand. Hold what you're painting up higher and we can see it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, I'm just going to roll back with it. Um, I moved the whole screen yard over to half of the screen. So the other half, it doesn't matter. So what we did tonight is we took these pairs, we painted them crockery, and um, we then added the pennies from heaven. So it added um, just really cool gold or gold copper to it. Um, and I love it because the crockery is just peeping through. So let's talk now about should we do dark wax or should we do shipwrecks? Let, that is the question. Um, and I'm open to suggestions. Definitely. When I, let's see here, when I would, this is when I would take a hammer to my computer. Okay, Kelly, <laughs> I need this computer. <laughs> I always think like, gosh, I hope nothing ever happens to it until I'm, I'm ready to move on. Um, uh, you look fine now. Okay. All right. Good. I'm glad I'm looking good. Do a test. Where did you buy the pears from? I bought the pears from uh, Goodwill and they were, there was a whole bag of pears for $3.99. So I ended up getting two, four, six, eight, ten 10 pears for $4. Last time I did this, I, um, well, I did more of the faux like stone look to them and I sold them for $3 each. So, um, 
Corrine says we should do half and half. Dark wax or maybe half and half, Amanda said. Okay. Well, since we have the dark wax, let's... I've never done dark wax over the copper. So let's see here. Here's the dark wax. All right. I have my paper towel. I have my dark waxing brush. And let's do it. We'll try one and then I'll look for the shipwrecked. I have a whole thing of it. I'm not opening another one. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure it's not in there and it's not. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take a, my waxing brush and I'm going to put a little wax here. Oh gosh. Kelly says she's so excited to see this. I'm a little nervous. Uh, okay. Well, we're going to just go with it. All right. And it, it's toning it down a bit, which is, but I, I'm already liking it, even though I was a little nervous right from the get-go. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, let's see here. Well, I'm going to have to say... I think it did not take it because, well, I can add a little bit. I added some and then I removed it and then I'm going to add a little bit more. Oh, I like it, guys. I think it looks good. That looks really good. Okay, I'm going to hold up two of them so you can... I don't know if you can see the difference. It's probably it's probably not as evident on the screen, but it actually kind of like darkens it up a bit, gives it more like depth. So I do like it. All right, I'm just going to uh, see if I'm full of this. So let me just look one more time for shipwrecked. I knew I had it on, oh, it has some dust on it. <laughs> so, um, all right, we're going to do, we'll do five with the dark and then we'll try this on, or do you want, let's just try one. Let's just try one and we'll go from there. Okay. We can see it when it's sitting back further, the difference. Oh, okay. That's good to know. It, um, a metal ornate shelf with a dark wax and the shipwrecked in some areas. It looks good. Give some natural contour enhancing. Hopefully the dark wax doesn't make the pear look bruised and rotten. <laughs> I hope not either. All right, we're going to try, and I only used it one time, and I am, why did I, I don't remember why I only used it one time, because I think, hold on, I just have to find my little waxing brush here. Okay, all right. Here is, because you don't need much of this either, because all right. Oh, this looks kind of fun too. All right, I think less is more for with this. 
All right. Oh, I like it. And what I'm going to try to do is just dab a little bit here and there to make it look like the coppery color. Okay. And I can't, I'm so far away that I can't see, but out of both of them, I would, I don't know which one I like better. I like them both, you guys. I'm going to do 50 50 with. Out too much texture, the wax just wipes off. Yeah, I don't have a lot of texture on here. So the wax, um, it it gets into some, there is a little texture naturally in these, but yeah, it, it doesn't, it kind of just, it's very minute. And I think that the pennies from heaven just kind of is like a, almost like a sealer. Pennies, yeah. And it almost sealed it. Um, so it's, I mean, I like it, but I think it looks good. I like them both, actually. I really do. Um, shipwreck looks spring-like. I agree. I think it does. Can't see it. It's kind of hard to see. I can definitely see it. Um, it's, I think because the lights are so bright and this is coppery and like shiny, it's really hard. It was, it's a little hard to see you guys. I'll be totally honest. It is a little hard to see. Um, cause even when I was not, I, yeah, it, when I had it up there, it was hard for me to see on the screen. Bud. Um, okay, so Corrine said that uh, she painted garden frogs with pennies from heaven and used the shipwreck wax, and it sat so nicely in the crooks and cr um, crannies uh, like aged copper. That would be, yeah, if I would have maybe did this different, what we could have did is I could have used... Um, Again, we didn't, I didn't know we were taking this path. You guys directed me. <laughs> so I would have probably used Sandy Blonde and I would have added more texture with the DIY clay based paint. I would have then sealed it and we would have put, we could have put pennies um, from heaven on it and then used this. And it would have really, it would have done just very similar. But I still like it. I, it's very subtle, but I, I really like it, guys. I do. All right. That's what I meant. Um, I bet salt wash would have brought that out. Yes, probably. Okay, that's the dark. Let's do two more of these. It probably would have. But live and learn. That's why it's an experiment, guys. So, but I really like how it looks. I like how it, um, I like how it's going. Okay. Yes, I will definitely be making or posting photos of both. Hopefully, on my photos, you guys will be able to see it a whole lot better. Wonder how sugar fruit would work. Um, I don't know. What is sugar fruit? Is it fruit that's made out of sugar? <laughs> I don't know. Do you ever add baking soda to DIY paint for texture? Um, I... Have I done it? I have not done it to the DIY paint just because I can get so much texture with the clay base. Um, and I, to be honest, I have to tell you guys, when I used um, the baking soda, this was before I offered DIY though. I used the baking soda with um, the Rust-Oleum paint at that time. And I have to tell you, I had these really cool jars and it looked really cool. And I had it at a show 
and it got it was um they didn't they never got wet but it got really damp out because um it had started to rain and the next day i got back to my booth and the entire um it all like peeled off it was so weird it was like it i've never experienced anything like that so that's when i um said to my mom that I needed to come up with something else. And that's when I started offering DIY paint. Um, artificial fruit that has a sugar tap. Oh, I know what you're talking about now, Christine. Yeah, that, that probably would work. Um, usually used for Christmas decor. Okay, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. It has like a, like a texture to it is what you're saying. So yes. Okay. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. I like both of them. I think they both look good. Oh, partridge in a pear tree. Okay, Kelly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. I was like, what is the joke? And then your comment, the comment went, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to know what the joke is or crystallize them in borax. Oh, um, you could paint a few of them in a green color to look like they aren't ripe yet. I like these had a neat metallic look. Hi, Donna. Um, Sana, do you let everything you use wax on cure first before you put it in your booth? Um, yes, I try to. Um, I let the I try to let it all cure just because that's why I think some things don't go in my booth right away. I have them in my studio and then I put them in there. So Oh, these look good though. So these will definitely be ready for antique acres. So I'm super excited. It, um, I'm, I, at first, you know, when I bought this bag of fruit, I kind of liked them the way they were, but then as I was looking at them tonight, I'm like, I want to do, I want to do the something different to them. Well, I did something totally different than what I actually had envisioned, but I like it. I think they're good. I think this is all I'm going to probably get done tonight. I don't know. Um, you guys had me laughing like crazy, though, tonight. I appreciate it. <laughs> Shiprock is a wax. Yes, it is. Um, I'll show you it. It's like a turquoise wax, and it is from W. It's DIY. And it's available on my website. Um, I have to tell you guys, when I first started offering um, DIY paint, so I had the, this, I have three of these in my booth and I have three of the smaller ones. And the smaller ones you can on, you know, open. Now I actually put my own little seal on it so nobody can open it. But somebody opened it. <laughs> And it's like turquoise. So I don't know what made them think they wanted to touch it. They touched it. And then they got turquoise all over their finger. And then they proceeded to, I have a beautiful white hutch. They proceeded to wipe it all over the hutch. And I am just like, oh my gosh, why? Why would somebody do that? I I want to, I, I hope it was a child and not an adult because I don't know. I just... But yeah, yeah, they just had it everywhere. And thank goodness that I was able to get there when it had not like totally cured. So like I got there, I think it, I must have gotten there like either the same day it happened or the day after. And I was able to take a rig and try to get most of the wax off of my beautiful white buffet or hutch that I have everything in. Oh, talk about... angry. Okay. There. I like it, you guys. I like it. 
Okay. All right. So Kelly says she really likes shipwreck wax. Um, it's so pretty. Um, Pam says, hey, peep, or hey from Panhandle, Texas. Beautiful weather, but windy. So happy to catch a live. So excited for you and all your future goals and happenings. Thank you, Pam. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited about everything going on. Um, Kelly says, some people are just ignorant. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Christine says, I have some, I love to use it for metal contrast, rusty, crusty look. Yes, that would, that would look awesome. So, all right. So we got these done. They definitely need to cure. And I am full of, um, pennies from heaven and crockery and all that good stuff. Let's set this aside. The other thing I wanted to work on I still have like four, 40 minutes. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So you guys. All right. So I grabbed this a while ago, but I really don't like this. Do you think? Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to get this off. I was thinking I could get this off. But oh, I don't know. I might wreck it. So before I start, um, Kelly says one of my favorite sayings is "If you can't fix stupid, talk about it." Christine says, LOL, that. I say some people's kids. Exactly. I just don't get it. I'm like, why? Why? I would, I mean, like, I would never do some of this. I don't know. You guys could see some of the things that happen in my booth. You'd be, like, very surprised. Okay. So this is, like, plastic. I'm going to cut this off. I guess if I have to keep that, I will. Um, all right, so that already looks better. I don't understand this plastic crap. I just don't, I don't know. I, the basket is in like, it's like really, it's old, I think. And it's in really quite good condition. But... Um, okay, let's see here. All right. It does, it really doesn't match the basket, the eagle that is. I know. We're going to figure it out. We are going to figure it out. I'm going to grab a hammer. Um... We are going to figure out what we're going to do with it. Oh, man. I probably need a smaller hammer. Okay, so Mary Ellen says she had a picnic basket with a similar eagle on it. They kind of put it in on with these rivets. They did. Okay, so I ended up pulling it off but I had to put something over where it was like a picture. Okay. There are rivets. That's what I noticed in the back. So I'm going to tackle these things first. And then we're going to go with, we're going to try to figure out what there. My brother stopped over. He saw I had this. He said, I think that's mine. I'm like, this is not yours. Like, you are not going to try to steal. He's like, do you know how expensive this is? I cannot see that you, I think a contractor left it at my house. I don't know, I don't know how I got it, but it is honest to God, you guys, the best tool ever. I don't know whose it is, but it's not my brother's, even though he tried to say it was. So, all right, let's go ahead and get, oh, that came out really nice and easy. And then let's get this one. Where is my, all right, so 
Uh, Kelly says we should put a sunflower mold there. Looks like an item from the centennial year. Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's not sticking out that far. It could be. Um, I just thought the basket was so nice. So <sighs> paint it red, white, and blue and cover the eagle with gold metallic paint or something like that. That's a good idea. I was actually going to paint it white. I had my um, vintage linen out ready to go. But definitely we could do red, white, and blue. I think embrace it. I don't know about um, getting it off. I had one of those. Okay. You had a basket like this? Let me see. This is why I don't do stuff like, okay. So already you guys, without that metal stuff, look at the difference. I think that in itself really makes it a whole lot better. This plasticky metal stuff, I don't know what the heck that what they were thinking. Don't embrace it. Let's hide it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we're not embracing it. We're going to hide it. We're first going to take off all this metal stuff, and then we're going to hide it. We're going to hide that eagle. We're going to get rid of it. Oh my gosh, that's funny. All right, I love it. I like it when you guys are honest. That looks good. Let me get the other one off. Oh my goodness. I just keep saying like, oh my gosh. I, I don't know where you guys went. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, now I can't see you because I hit something, you guys. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I swear. Tonight has been rough. Tonight has been rough. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay. We see you. What the heck is this? I, I love that color. We're here. See you on YouTube. Still here. Okay, good. I'm glad. Um, ay, ay, ay. That's all I have to say is ay, ay, ay. All right. So... We're not embracing the eagle, guys. We're going to get rid of it, but um, I just don't know. I'm not sure how we're going to get rid of the rivets. There, that's off. This basket looks a thousand times better without all this junk on it. Okay. All right. So we got the basket. Now let's try to figure out the eagle. Well, the eagle's got to go. His head just broke off. Oh, good Lord. All right, all right. Okay, let me... Have to drill out the rivets. Okay, maybe your brother can use his pliers to get rid of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Yes. Let's see. I'm going to see about these rivets. Um, so, are rivets, do they bend them? Is that what it is? They're bent or what?
I'm trying to see if we can loosen it up. You beheaded our national bird. I know. I'm so sorry. People, somebody's probably going to be very upset with me. Oh, there. There. Oh, gosh. I think I got it, you guys. I think I might have it. Well, we'll see. Okay. So the rivets are like this. All right, so you guys can see what I'm doing is I am actually bending the rivets back. Let's see here. I have to, I have to make sure I, I wish I had a different tool. All right. Do I have a drill? You do have a drill. I don't know if I want to be, I don't know if this is something I probably should do on a live. <laughs> drill it out, huh? You guys just want me to drill out the rivets on a live. I don't know if that's probably the best thing to do. Okay, I'm going to hold this. This rivet is back. All right, I have another tool. I am full of little needle nose pliers. Do you have a hacksaw <laughs> in the garage? I do have a hacksaw in the garage. What are we gonna hacksaw it off? Um, from the backside. Okay. I almost have the rivet out. I'm just taking it and then folding it back. There. I got this, I think this rivet is almost out. I just have to... So I unfolded the rivet, so there, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out. Should be a head pin, head into a pin. What a rivet is, you can, if you can't break off head, should be able to pull out pin. Okay. Well, I undid both the things on the back. Okay, I got one rivet out. That wasn't bad. I broke off the guy's head and we got one rivet out. All right, let's do it to the other one. Question, is the rivet connected to the eagle that once you <laughs> unfold, pull from the front. Yes, I unfolded it and I got it out. So now I'm going to do the other one. Now that I kind of know how these rivets work. Yep. And then that's what I'll do to the other side as well. I'm glad that we have kind of got it figured it out. Okay. There, got that one. Multi tool <laughs> question. <laughs> a multi tool or a sawzall would work. Oh my gosh, you guys. A sawzall would totally probably destroy this. Okay. I got the rivet out. Let's see here. What I did to the other one is kind of. 
straightened it out, and then I hit it. There. All right, got the second one out. Now, the one thing is, is the center, this one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out because of where it's located. Um, that one, I might have to drill out. But where I had, see, there wasn't very much damage done to where these were. Now that just needs to... It's behind, they put it, it's behind that, so I can't even get to it. That might cause some damage. I don't know. I might have to drill that one. Yep, too much trouble for the, for me, sold it as was. <laughs> okay. I am glad there was only one eagle. Me too. There is, right? There's not one on this side, right? No, thank gosh. Okay, so let's talk. Now that I know I'm going to get the eagle off, guys, I am going to um, drill it out. I'll drill that out. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try. Um, so painting it, what do you, what color do you think? Do Should we... Do you have to use wood filler to repair a hole? Do you have wood filler to... Yes. Yank its wings off with your brother's pliers. <laughs> okay. We're going to stop calling it Brandon's pliers. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put safety glasses on. I'm nervous. After what happened last time when we were on our live. Croc. I like your original paint plan. Okay. Okay, we, we got rid of a wing. We're breaking this thing all apart, guys. Okay, this thing is like not very good. All right, we're gonna try with this one. Okay, we lost another chunk. Okay, it's off. I didn't even need safety glasses. Okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah, it didn't do that much damage at all. Not at all, okay. We unfortunately did not recover the eagle all in one piece. Where will it live? Um, let's see. I think it's going to break. Yeah. No. Okay. Where will it live? Cabin, beach, lake house, farmhouse. Um, okay. So my vision for this is I wanted something, I thought it was really dark. So I was thinking something we, I actually had a vintage linen that was going to paint it vintage linen. It looks so much better, you guys. Yes, it does. So um, I'm thinking I'm painting it vintage linen. What do you guys think? Play taps for the eagle. <laughs> oh, you guys. All right, let's do it. Let's go ahead and we're going to just, we're going to roll with it. I have one of these needing a vision. Well, we just ripped it apart. <laughs> okay, I'm just going with it, guys. I'm just going with it. All right. So we'll see here if... Um, we have any bleed through or not, but I just wanted to brighten it up. I felt like it was too dark, so I'm just rolling with it. You guys are probably cringing, saying like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's painting it, but I am. Could hold cut wood. No taps. He was an imposter. <laughs> the real eagle would have stood strong. Yes. 
Oh my gosh. I really thought he was going to injure me, you guys. Okay. I'm already liking it. And I like the perfectionist. It's getting into all the nitty gritty details. That looks good. Yeah, I like it. What do you guys think so far? Better say you like it after what I just went through to, to save this basket. All right. Not up against Sonnet, the Wonder Woman. <laughs> you guys, I was nervous there for a minute. I was, I didn't want to break it. Oh. You guys could see me in action some days. Oh boy. Let's see. Okay, one side is almost done. I'm liking it so far. I kind of like how it kind of like the look. Like I actually I'm going to I want to distress it a little bit back. So get the coat on and then do like almost like a distressed look. So I like it. I like it. Uh, it's gorgeous, Sonic, giving it a real life fresh. Yes, thank you. Wet distress. Yes, yes. 100% better already. Love the color. Mine is stripped down pink color challenged. <laughs> oh, good. Everybody's liking it. Awesome. Yes, I think it looks really good so far. All right. Let me get. Yep, and I am going to, I think I'm going to wet distress it and then I'm going to seal it. I think it's going to look great. And I think it's well, they want a pair. Pair down. Pair down. All right. Okay. There. Now you can see like on the sides. That looks really good. All right, maybe some typography at the top. It was never meant to be wearing gold strips and a fake eagle. It was not, you guys. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I saw its potential when I thrifted it. I did. I knew it was good for something. It just wasn't that, oh gosh, that was horrible, you guys. Okay, let's get this basket painted. I want to get it done. And then we'll do some wet distressing on it. We still have like 15 minutes. So we have plenty of time, right? My husband says I'm the fastest painter. I don't know if I'll be able to get this painted in 15 minutes. So I'm good, but we'll see. All right. Are you going to leave the handle wood? Yes, I'm going to leave the handle wood, I think. I'm going to leave it just as it is. All I'm planning on doing is giving it new life with a bit of um, color to it. So once it dries, then I'm going to do the wet distressing, and then I'm going to seal it. And I think it's going to be perfect. You guys think I should do something else to the handle? Is that what you're saying? Oh, <laughs> I'm afraid I was going to actually show Ruth's uh, message um, that she posted, but I'm I'm afraid to touch anything at this point because as soon as we get off, I am going to um, hard boot 
hard boot or I'm going to boot on my computer. I'm going to, I'm going to boot the computer. Yep. So I always leave my thumbs up on the way out, but thanks for reminding us. Yes. Thank you guys for joining me. Okay. So um, on April 1st, I'm just going to quick chat about what I have uh, in store for some upcoming lives. Uh, April 1st, we're doing a live launch party for the Cottage Colors. And during that live, I am going to give away some Cottage Colors. So that will be exciting. Uh, so we're going to celebrate the new products. I'm hoping to stream on, well, I'm going to do Facebook and YouTube for sure. And then I'm hoping to also possibly stream it on Instagram. We'll see. Um, StreamYard allows Instagram now, but it can only be streamed, I guess, for an hour. And then it disconnects, which I would feel terrible if... So it might be a shorter live for that one is what I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, I think it would look really good with the handle natural like it is. Oh, gosh, I already painted it on the inside. Um, D says, every live is fun, but this evening was a hoot. <sighs> yeah, it was. It was fun this evening. I was laughing like crazy, you guys. Um, so I have that. So you guys have to mark your calendars for those. Because I want wipe it off. <laughs> oh, Mary Ellen says no. I don't know what what did I say something that you say no to? Oh no. Don't do anything else to it, I think. Okay, so should I leave the handle natural? I can wipe it off. It just started. Or should I paint it white? I only got a little bit. So you guys tell me what you think. Kelly thinks we should leave it natural. I think it would look really nice if you put eagles on the handle. Put eagles on the handles, okay? My vote is natural. Okay, so let's vote for the handle before I go to town. I'm gonna just do the rest and then we'll figure it out. Um, Kelly says natural handle. I can still get this paint off. Terry says she agrees. Okay, Kelly, um, Terry, okay, Terry agrees. Ruth, natural handle, natural. Paint it because it is shown on the front and back. Okay, so we have one painted. Everybody else is natural. Natural, natural, paint, natural. Oh, natural's winning. Okay. All right. Okay, well, it looks like I think natural might win. I can take that paint right off. Take it right off. The handle goes around. I know the handle does go around it, but I can end it right there. Mm. I'm just going to keep painting. You guys can work it out. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far, so... All right. Oh my gosh. I like how bright it looks with this um, vintage linen. I do. I like it. I like it. I love how the perfectionist gets into all that detail. Okay. What is your opinion? Um, I was going to paint it all white, but, um, what I'm going to do, I'll be totally honest with you guys 
is once I get it all painted, I'm going to stand back and I'm going to see what it looks like with the natural handle. And then I'm going to decide. So... But I do kind of, I like the contrast. If you don't like it when you're finished painting the rest, then paint it too. Yes, that's what I, I'm thinking. If I, I'm thinking like, I want to paint it, then I'll paint it. But I kind of like it so far when I'm looking at it like from this angle. Teresa says she's multitasking, packing and watching me. Awesome. I like a good multitasker. Some days I'm a really good multitasker and other days, you guys, I am not. The days that I feel like a squirrel, like those are the days I don't feel like a good multitasker. All right. Okay, that looks good. Let me grab this side on the inside and then, aw. Elissa, what are you sewing? Elissa says she's sewing while I'm painting here. So I appreciate you guys joining me so I'm not here all by myself. I'm hoping that we have uh, a record breaking turnout for the live on Friday. Well, every live, every live, I would like a record breaking turnout, but you know what I mean. All right. It does look good natural. Yep, that's kind of what I wanted to like stand back and see what it would look like natural. And um, I plan on doing that in just a second. Because I can still take that paint off, hopefully. Hopefully it's not totally embedded in the grain. I think it'll be fine. Amanda says, I'm working while watching. That's good. I like it. I'm chatting. All right. I kind of like the two-toned as well. It does look good. Natural makes it look vintage and fresh. I agree. I think it looks good. I think we're going to leave it. Kelly, your, your idea, um, it definitely worked. So I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Can you, cool. You can watch while you work. That's awesome job. Um, uh, Ruth 1130 central. Yep. It's fun to watch someone else work. <laughs> Yes, it is. And see me struggle as I am ripping off that poor eagle that is in a many, many pieces, you guys. Oh, my word. That poor eagle. That gave me a workout. Okay. Well, I'm feeling good. We got two projects done. We ended up getting the pairs done and then we got this done or almost done. Um, I'm going to just do the bottom here. And then wipe that away. Okay. 
Okay, that's looking good. I'm liking it. Okay, so then all I'll need to do is just wet distress this. Uh, tomorrow, what I'll do is I will take photos of the pears, get those out there. I'll probably, if I can finish this up tomorrow, I will. I have to go get that dresser that I told you guys about. So I'm going to grab that and... Um, I wish I could do it if it was warm out. Well, if I knew it was going to be decent outside, I should say, uh, we could actually do it outside like we did with my Chase Lounge that I did this last summer. But knowing my luck, a snowstorm, a snowstorm, <laughs> a rainstorm or something crazy would come happen. All right, let's see here. Once you wet distress it, the handle won't stick out as much. It, yeah, I think you're you're right. What time Thursday? What's hap Oh, all right. Okay, so Thursday, what's happening is my podcast. Friday is the live for um for IOD. So Friday, and then Wednesday we're just going live. So Wednesday at ten o'clock. We're going live on Friday at 11.30, and my podcast will be up um, at 7 a.m. So if the top band, banding across the side was left natural, the handle would be good natural. I still think all paint. Saw your trailer for the podcast. You did great. Thank you. Yeah, there was a little glitch, you guys. And... All of a sudden, um, I'm like, how are people watching my podcast? I don't know. I took it down, though. But so I think 17 people saw it. <laughs> no, it's pre-taped, Kelly. The podcast is pre-taped. So it's all going to be, um, it's all, yeah, it's all pre-taped. So no, I'm not, nobody has to watch it live. Um, so yeah, the podcast. Um, will just be available and ready for everybody to watch at 7 a.m. Okay, wiping this off. I probably would have painted only the weaved part and kept the handle and the framing around the basket natural. Well, I actually was going to paint everything. So that's where the dilemma came about. So, um, that was my initial vision, but I am open to suggestions always, guys. I'm always open. But, all right, let me just finish this up. Got that off. Yeah. Pretty much got that all off, too. Okay, that's looking good. All right, so can I watch it on YouTube? Yes, Penny. Um, so the podcast is a video podcast and it will be available on my YouTube channel. And then it is also like for people who just like to listen to podcasts, it will be on like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all the podcast platforms. And that will be on um, Thursday. And the reason I decided to do it so early is because for those who do like to listen to, listen to podcasts, it just goes all out right away in the morning, and that's when we're doing it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my gosh. That, this is a funny statement. She's 90% sure that the next time we see it, the handle will be white. <laughs> We will see. We will see what happens. I'm going to, I'm going to sleep on it. I always sleep on things. I'm going to first distress it and then I am going to seal it and then I'm going to reevaluate. But yes, we'll see. Um, Paige says, brilliant girl. Never thought about people driving to work as I'm retired. Yeah. So a lot of people really like to listen to podcasts on the way into work or on the way home, or even when they're getting ready in the morning. So it will be available. So I cannot wait to hear what you guys all think about my premiere episode on Thursday. 
Um, but that is a wrap for tonight. We finished the, the pairs and we partially finished this. Um, I'm going to wrap it up tomorrow and, uh, we will see you guys then on Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Uh, and we'll go from there. Um, I agree that the handle will be white tomorrow. <laughs> guys, you're so funny. Or while we're working out. Yes, or while you're working out, you could listen to me. Um, thank you for sharing. I really enjoyed it tonight, as always. Good night, everyone. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. And don't forget to go and watch my YouTube video for tonight. All right, bye.